Let's talk about branching. <laughs> a branch is an independent line of development. So far, we've spent a lot of time working on the master branch. I suppose that's been fine for what we've been doing, but really that's a bad development practice. Really, when you're developing, each feature should receive its own branch. This way, development on different features can happen simultaneously. If it's a team with multiple developers, then we can all be working on our own code at the same time without worrying about interfering or overriding each other's code. Plus, this prevents unstable and half-baked code from being live on the site. Once a feature has been finished and approved, it can be merged back into the master branch, meaning your master branch should only contain finished production-ready code. Let's dive a little bit deeper to see what this would look like in an actual project. If you're new to the Self Teach Me channel, my name is Amy Dutton. I'm a web designer and developer. If you're looking at getting into this space, sometimes it's hard to know where to start or what resources to trust. I wanna help you level up and get to where you wanna be. If this sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button below. Git is a big part of development because it's one way that developers are able to collaborate and work together. If you're not sure exactly what it is, how to use it, how to get it installed on your computer, or how it works, be sure to check out some of the other videos in this series. Link in the card above. Let's keep working on the jokes repo that we've already been working on in some of the previous videos. If you'd like to follow along, all the code is on GitHub. Feel free to download it, use it, modify it, whatever you want. Link is in the description below. Right now we have a single jokes.txt file that has a bunch of different jokes in it. Let's bring break the file into multiple files based on the jokes category. Right now we're on the master branch. So in VS Code, you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it says master. If you go over to the terminal, you can also see we are on the master branch. If you don't have these tools installed in your terminal, you can also type git branch and it will show you this right here. The star means that we are on our master branch hit colon Q to get out of that view. Remember, master should be the production ready version of our code. Uh, you can think of it like our official project directory. In fact, if you go over to GitHub, GitHub, where is GitHub? In fact, when you visit GitHub, it displays the master branch by default. You can switch branches by clicking on this button, but I don't have any other branches. A best practice is not to mess with master. It's supposed to be the stable version of your code used in production. Let's create a new branch to work from. In the terminal, type git checkout dash b feature joke in categories. Now that dash b is a flag that creates a new branch. Then feature slash joke in categories is our branch name. Uh, you'll notice it doesn't have any spaces. And I name my branch feature slash. This feature part is just a naming convention. It's not a requirement. Naming conventions just make it easier to find what you're looking for. Different teams will use different conventions. Some people may choose to name their branches based on the author. Others will label them by bug fix, features, or hot fix. You could also add an additional level of hierarchy by including a feature area. But the important thing to remember here is one feature or one bug fix per branch. For projects I've worked on, I am usually working from a ticket or an issue system. I find it useful to include that ID number from the ticket within the branch name. This helps me at least find the branch that I'm looking for. Regardless of what convention you decide to use, the important thing is to be consistent. Okay, so now we have our new branch and we're on the new branch instead of master. You can see with the tools that I'm using in the terminal, we are now on the feature joke and categories branch. Now we can make the changes that we want to our project. Within the jokes.txt file, you'll see that I have several jokes. Let's break this file apart so that we have a different file for every type of joke. I'm gonna create a new file called programmingjokes.txt. And these first three jokes here, I'm going to cut and paste in our new file. Give that a save. Now I'm going to add a riddles.txt file and cut this next joke and paste it in the riddles.txt file. Within VS Code, I'm gonna add another file called knockknockjokes.txt and add this knockknock joke. Give that a save. Since our original jokes.txt file doesn't have any jokes in it anymore, I'm actually going to delete this file. Uh, okay, let's commit our work just like we've done in the past. I'm gonna say git add period. This period means that we wanna stage all the files that we've changed. There's no need to actually add each of these files that we've touched individually. This will do it all in one swoop. Now let's commit this, git commit 
And we wanna say broke jokes out into separate category files. Awesome, now that our first feature is complete, we can merge it back into master. So let's move to our master branch. We say get merge dash dash no FF feature joke. And I can actually hit the tab key and it will auto complete for me. So this dash dash no dash FF flag means that we're gonna create a new commit when it merges. So when you hit enter, you should see the vim text editor open up within your terminal. And here it wants you to add a commit message for your merge. I'm just gonna use the default message they created for me here, merge branch feature joke and categories. And I can hit colon WQ, which will save and quit. Now I'm gonna type git log we can see a history of our commits. Most recent commit is here at the top, and if we start at the bottom, you can see that this was our initial commit. Then we made another commit that broke the jokes out into separate files on the feature slash joking categories branch. Then we merged that code back onto master. As I told you before, I like to use a program called Tower, and it makes this history a little bit easier to visualize. If I go over to Tower and click on the master branch, you can see that it has the same history here. Let's go through the process one more time. There's a few more things that I wanna point out. I can hit colon Q to exit out of that view. I wanna add some more knock knock jokes, so let's create a new branch. So I'm gonna say git checkout dash B new knock knock joke. Uh, I forgot to use feature slash as part of my branch name. No worries, it's pretty easy to change. Okay, within the terminal type git branch dash M feature new knock knock joke. So I can do this since we're on the branch that I'm trying to rename. Uh, this dash M, you can think of it like move. Okay, but I'm not gonna run this command just yet. I wanna show you how this would work if you're not on the branch that you wanna rename. I'm gonna hit Control C and I'll actually cancel that line. I'm gonna type git checkout master. And so now to rename that same not not joke branch, we can run git branch dash M and we want to name the old branch, so knock knock joke, and then give it the new name. So feature new knock knock joke. Perfect, now we just need to check out our new branch and add the new knock knock joke. I'm gonna type git checkout feature and hit tab and it will auto complete for me. Now within the knock knock jokes dot text, I'm going to add knock knock, who's there, ice cream, ice cream who, ice cream if you don't let me in. <laughs> okay, let's save and commit this joke. So git add, git commit, added, an ice cream joke. Let's pretend that this joke needs to be approved before we can merge it into master. In the meantime, we wanna add a new riddle. So what are we supposed to do? We need to create another branch and fork it off of master. This will keep everything nice and clean. Plus it doesn't matter which branch we merge back into master first. Okay, so within the terminal, I'm going to type git checkout master, and then I'm gonna create this new branch. So git checkout feature, add a riddle. Now, if we open up our knockknockjokes.txt file, you will see that the ice cream joke isn't there. Good, that's exactly what we want. So let's open up riddles.txt and add this. Did you hear the joke about the roof? Never mind, it's over your head. <laughs> okay, now we can save this and commit it. So git add, git commit, added a roof riddle. And then let's merge both of these branches back into master. So I'm gonna type git checkout master so that we're on the master branch. And we're gonna say git merge, no FF, feature, new, knock knock joke. This is the commit message, so I'm gonna hit colon WQ to save and quit. And now I'm gonna type git merge, no FF, feature, Add a riddle, tab to complete. Same thing, we'll use this as our commit message, so colon WQ to save and quit. Uh, perfect, now let's double check our knock knock jokes and dot text file. So there's our riddle, 
And there's our ice cream joke. So for the record, sometimes you'll work on a feature that builds off of itself. You don't necessarily wanna wait until that code gets merged into master before you can start working on that new feature. So what do you do? Glad you asked. You can fork off of your new branch. Uh, you just need to make a note so that these branches get merged back into master in the correct order. Okay, so before we call it quits, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. To list all the branches in our repository, we can type get branch. So I think you can already see that this list might get awfully long, but this star indicates what branch that we're currently on. So right now we're on the master branch. I'm gonna hit colon Q to exit out of that view. And here we can type get branch dash D and whatever branch we want to delete. So I can say feature slash, and we can select add a riddle. So that will remove that branch. Git has your back. If you try to delete a branch that hasn't been merged into master, Git will tell you. If you wanna delete a branch that hasn't been merged into master and losing that work for forever, you can use a capital D instead and it will force the delete. One other quick trick is you can say git branch dash dash no merged and it will show you a list of all the branches that have not been merged. In our case, we've already merged everything. Similarly, you can type in git branch dash dash merged and it will show you a list of all the branches that have been merged. I'm gonna hit colon Q to get out of that view. Let's go ahead and get rid of those other two branches. So I'm gonna type git branch dash D feature and can select that and do get branch dash D feature. Perfect. Done. <sighs> okay, all the code within this video is posted on GitHub. Feel free to download it, use it, modify it, whatever you want. Have at it. If you like this video and want to see more videos on web design and development, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the bell icon if you want to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Until then, keep coding.